Hello and welcome back to Exclaim, the show where we comment on the comments you comment on the films we make about cars. First up, we have fans from all over the world, including lovely Russia. Some lovely fans took it upon themselves to rip our videos from the web and translate them into Russian. This is the result. Это X car. Все машины x -Card расскажут все о них. Убедитесь, что вы подписались, дабы не пропустить ни одного эпизода. И присоединяйтесь к нам в социальных сетях, чтобы быть в курсе обо всех новинках. Мы touched, но не это на копирайт инфринжмент. Окей? Anyway, here's what you all thought about our film on the Jaguar F-Type R Coupe, Jag's latest and greatest sports car. So hot. This is a sports car, should look like not these Corvette and Viper shits. My God, the steering wheel is bigger than you are. Beautiful automobile, must have. Poor man's Aston Martin, anyone? Like Bentley and Rolls-Royce have gone their own way in terms of design, I think it's time that Jaguar and Aston go their own way. What road is this? Great and beautiful little car, but when the Brits test British cars, they seem to want to make you believe it's the greatest man-made achievement ever. And let me give you a few minor points of the F-Type. It's too heavy, the sport seats look comically large, and the silly pop-up dash vent lacks every purpose or function. The rear end looks better than the front end. It just looks so... So... So what? So what?! A heart-beating stop-start engine button gave me an orgasm. Is that okay? No, that's... that's not okay. It was peaceful and beautiful until that noisy machine showed up. Too much exalt! That could mean this car sucks! I wonder if hearing machine gun fire on the overrun will grow tiresome. I don't really like the backside of the car call on bracket. Sexy as f**k. Such a nice review to everyone, the camera team, awesome angles, quality and jag. But sorry, I think it's a little too expansive. Did you just call it fat? English men reviewing English cars, this should be illegal. This is the UK Seinfeld, great review! Cheers from Canada! What's the deal with the F-Type? What's next? The G-Type? I would kill to have that thing with a proper manual transmission. Please, Jaguar, this car is so sexy! You guys are awesome for getting your hands on a red one! Just wish it came with a manual and I'd happily spend every last dollar on it! Some liked it, some less so, and one dude thinks Brits testing British cars should be banned because we're all biased. I can see where they're coming from, I can, but in this case the F-Type R is a truly exceptional car. And what I was trying to tell you is that it makes you feel special to drive because of all its jaggy awesomeness. Anyway, from one awesome British car to the Mini. The latest generation of Mini was launched this year and I got to have a spin. Here's what you're all made of it. As a classic Mini owner, I still hate it. Why not make a Mini more along the size of the Up, but with a little more power? Then the name might actually mean something. Well, if you take into account that all cars have grown in size, then proportionally the Mini is still pretty much a Mini. Take the BMW 3 or the VW Golf or any car. They are much bigger than they used to be. The reality is that proportional to current cars, the actual Mini is exceptionally small in a very similar way that the first Mini compared to cars of its period. I like this new Mini. Comparing it to the original is like comparing a machine gun to a bow and arrow. They may get the job done, one is just a bit faster. Today owning a really small car, like the original Mini, is dangerous, especially in a big city with big cars. And everything else is big when you're in the original Mini, so as a new and slightly improved Mini, I, I like it. It's sportier and sounds like fun to drive and own. Would I buy it? Probably not. You can keep your Mini at the dealer. I'll keep enjoying my fist, colon bracket. You're what now? Minis are for women. You won't look like a hero to your mates. You'll look like a sissy. People really need to get over their classic Minis and listen to this guy. If you don't like the look, then the drive alone is worth some praise. 
There will never again be a car like the Classic Mini for reasons described in this video, so stop complaining that it's too big and expensive. It's a premium hatchback that rivals the Golf and Astra type cars. So, it's still the smallest in its class, if you ask me. Yeah, it probably feels like a normal sized car to this guy. Right size for a Mini reviewer. Small guy gag. Small guy gag. They are both pathetic cars. Why waste your time on them? Oh, that's right. Mini paid you to. It's like people only do things because they get paid, and that's just really sad. So, some of you hate it, some of you don't. It's an opinion divided, this Mini, and I can see why. But, as I said in the film, for some people, this iteration of Mini is all they know. It helps that it's a really good car as well. I want to address that last comment, and I'm putting my serious face on for this one. Neither X-Car nor I is in any way paid by any manufacturer for opinions. I drive the cars and I give a fair and honest review of the vehicle. I write a script to ask a question, to get you talking about the car and maybe to even see it in a new light. Yes, I focus on the positive, but that's because there's often nothing all that bad to say. Anyway, last year I was lucky enough to have a ride with a chap called Horatio Pagani in his very own Zonda. It was a bit special. Here's what you made of the film. I wish I could drive with Horatio. I wouldn't care what car this man is an automotive hero. The earlier Zondas were the best. The 7.3 sounds best in the lower horsepower versions. When the host got behind the wheel of the Pagani, all of a sudden became a hairdresser's car. Man up. It looks like a bold woman from the 70s. Mr Pagani shows himself to be a singularly generous gentleman. He's the proud father of an incredible engineering and design triumph, yet he treats you as a valued friend. The question becomes which is greater, the man or the car? What an awesome guy! I wish I made my own cars. Brilliant job by X-Car as usual, but I wish more car reviewers paid attention to Koenigsegg. Could you possibly get a Koenigsegg on the show soon? We're working on it, don't worry. I was never a fan of Pagani's, I felt they were too over the top. However, I love how Horatio Pagani is very dedicated, very demanding, very precise about what he wants to create. It's a legacy. Every bit of the car reflects hard work and precision from everybody at Pagani. This is why I'm now a fan and I'm sure that one day he will achieve legendary status like Enzo Ferrari. Horatio Pagani has so much charm! A brilliant man! That V12 on Overrun. I'm sorry, but heaven doesn't sound this good! Mr. Bagani seems a very humble man. I love to just hang out with him and talk cars. I'm sure he has crazy stories. You liked it then? Comments about my sartorial style aside, you lot loved the brief drive with Mr. Pagani, and you know what? So did I. He's easily one of the nicest people in the industry and very proud of his cars. He didn't have to give me a ride, didn't have to let me drive it. He just wanted to show off his baby and what a baby it is. That's all for this episode of Exclaim. If you liked it, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And hell, why not subscribe to the Xcar Films YouTube channel or to get the full Xcar experience, head over to xcar.com. Want to have a go at me directly? Say hi on Twitter at A1Goy or have a go at the team at Xcar Official. Want to keep super up to date? Like us on Facebook for all the latest X-Car goings on and behind the scenes pictures. Oh, and if you want to watch any of the videos mentioned again or for the first time, the links are below. Till next time.